Well, from a Revolutionary War patriot to a soldier in the War of 1812 to a Civil War veteran, Myrtle Hill Cemetery near Tipperary Hill has some of the oldest grave sites in Syracuse. That's why on Memorial Day, of all days, family members of people buried there were appalled to find the plots inundated by overgrown grass. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains what the city of Syracuse is doing about this in one of your stories. You can just look out over the whole city and it's so peaceful and quiet. When Elaine Chabin lost her parents 15 years ago, she found solace in the beauty of their resting place. When you come here, it's, it's peaceful and calm and you know, you can just pull your thoughts together. And when you come and find it in this condition, it just rattles you. Rattled by waist high grass hiding the graves at Myrtle Hill Cemetery. The only reason she can see her parents' plots is because her family mowed the lawn themselves. It's just a lack of respect, I think, for the dead, for the people, you know, that you've cared about in your life. It just shows a lack of respect for them. You think you put them here. The Your Stories team was first contacted about this problem on Memorial Day, a busy day at most cemeteries. But when families left this one after paying their respects to a lost veteran, they had to leave their flag or flowers lost in the middle of overgrown grass. I have 10 family members buried up there, and all I can say is I'm sorry, but I want you to know you uh, we're here for you, and we have been working very hard since I took over to make things right. Before the sexton took over two years ago, she says years of mismanagement left the cemetery broke. The city owns the land, but it's up to her board to maintain it. So without money for mowing, her husband and another board member tried to keep up but seven acres of steep hills were too much. It was one of those things where it almost had to get that bad before something was gonna get done about it. After a year of trying, the Sexton finally got a meeting at City Hall. The cemetery will provide the equipment, but the city code staff will cut the grass. Without their help, we it would have been a very difficult uh, take on, uh, to take on. Um, but the fact that they had the equipment and we were able to hire some summer helpers, give them a job for the summer as part-time help, um, it really isn't that much of an additional burden. The city already paid a contractor to take down the tallest brush before its own staff takes over any day now. It's, you know, one of those simple one hand washes the other. I'll work with you, you work with me. The work means the most to families looking for peace. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And now, with the mowing solved, the sexton says she'll focus on more important things like cleaning up the records the cemetery lost during a fire. She asks anyone with a loved one buried there to contact her so they can update their listings. We'll post her, in, her information on localesquire.com.